I introduced Trello to a lot of people. And these people who are excited, they're looking, oh, look at these cards, look at these lists. Oh, man, I can even put these images on the cards and due dates and checklists and attachments. I love Trello. Oh, you know what I also love? I love my Google Calendar. I love my Outlook. Can I integrate the two of those together? And the answer that I, I give, I, I get really calm, I get really serious, and I say, yes. Yes, we can do that. Here's how. So go to the upper right-hand corner to the menu. Menu is where a lot of cool things happen. It's not, not very sexy, but a lot of cool things happen. Your whole activity is there. Uh, you can change the background. You could filter cards. You could put little stickers on cards, which is always a useless thing to do. But really, what I go to the, the menu for is the power-ups. Power-ups, there's all kinds of different power-ups. This, a year ago, was, was almost non-existent. Now you've got... Gosh, it looks like over 50, 60, maybe even 100 power-ups that integrate with different applications. The one that came first and the one that Atlassian actually built, a lot of outside companies are building these power-ups these days, is the calendar integration. So you enable that, and then you, as soon as I clicked enable, that little calendar button popped up there. So if you click on that calendar button, you can see it'll, it'll typically be in month mode, all the due dates for all the different items on this particular board. It doesn't go across boards, it's just for this board. And if you're thinking, oh man, find someone to uh, whatever this is called, my family, I don't want to do that, I'm going to do that, move that to here, it'll change the due date of that card. So we can even put another example right here. You just add the add the due date, say you want to do it this week or tomorrow, and then you can look at your, your calendar and it'll show up right there. So you got that modify template workflow right there and you can you can change that and uh, the new date will be reflected in that card. So week mode, month mode, um, great. And so this is good if you're if you're planning a big project or maybe you have some sort of content schedule that you want to go on, but it's not an integration with your calendar yet. Now, if you want to integrate with your calendar, all you have to do it's it's very subtle. You might miss it. There's this little gear right here. You click on the gear. And then from clicking on the gear, you enable your iCal feed. So here's your iCal feed. This is what you can put into any calendar, particularly Outlook and Gmail. That's my dog, Gus, scratching himself. What I would suggest is before you use this link and put it into your calendar application, click Regenerate Your Feed. Real quick, I've just noticed that if you regenerate it, it works on the first time. If you don't, it sometimes doesn't. So once you do that, all you have to do is you copy that URL you go to your calendar, so I use Google Calendars, and then you go to other calendars and add by URL. Here, well, I'll shrink the screen a little bit so you can see it. So here we go. We've got our My Calendars, and then we've got Other Calendars. If you go to Other Calendars, hit that triangle, you can add by URL. And, and what I did is I copied, so now I'm pasting that URL that I got from Trello right here and adding that calendar. And what you will see is this, this calendar is right there. So if I toggle on, toggle off. All right, modify process. I've got to do that right, at, right at when I'm on that, that Thursday freight favor training. So I better move that, that due date. So toggle on, toggle off. But you can also name it. So you can go in your calendar settings. Instead of having this weird URL, you can say um, Trello XYZ board in case you have more than one board on there. If you just use one board, then you could just say Trello and put it on there. And save that, and that is how you have all of your, uh, your, your due dates from Trello on a particular board show up in your calendar. If you want to in Google Calendar, I'm sure you can do this in Outlook, I'm gonna edit notifications, and let's say I want to have some notifications for those due dates, I can add those notifications here, maybe 10 minutes, maybe 10 hours before something's due, and press save. That's a good way to get some reminders for some of the tasks that you have due in Trello, because unless you're looking at the board or looking at your little notification, there's no other way to get notifications about projects that are about to be due. So that's a good workaround for that. So if you've ever been wondering, hey, does Trello integrate with my calendar? The answer is yes. 
All you have to do is go to the menu and go to power-ups and get that calendar power-up right there under C, enable, hit the gear, you're good to go. If you found this video interesting or helpful, feel free to give it a, a little thumbs up. I hear that's what you're supposed to do on YouTube. Another thing, if you're into Trello and you just want a tour of the whole shebang bang not these little bite-sized videos that I'm making for you, I've got a offer if you go to ZacharySexton.com forward slash Trello dash tour. So ZacharySexton.com forward slash Trello dash tour. I've got an hour video that I will I walk you through all the all the things and, and it's great and you'll love it and you'll know all about Trello afterwards. That is it. Thank you so much for taking the time. Hopefully you and your calendar and your Trello have, have lots of success together. Take care.